Hey guys, and welcome to Couture. I think we're ready to set off to the last planet of this game. So let's head in. This is the point of no return. If you feel like doing other freaking side quests, do them now. Because this is where we're gonna be crash landing into another planet. Meaning no more flying. Yeah, screw that stuff, right? Okay, here we go. The last planet, the Star Forge system. Let's hope we don't get bombarded by fighters. I skipped that. Skip that too. <laughs> <laughs> He's having too much fun. You are strong, child. But I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. <laughs> you think torture will turn me, Malak? You're a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastila. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> I really wish I did her freaking mission. It's like the power is sucking up from something. It's like I will drain you. Yeah, they got the coolest ships as always. The Starforge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. God damn Take it. those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. Hey, bastards, why you let me do one of these again? <laughs> Fucking bitch. Oh, uh, we've got problems. We've flown in some kind of Disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Here we go. Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. 
That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. And I wonder why the ships, uh, ship ships aren't infected by the field. They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. Good idea. If that temple's generating power, it probably has something to do with that disruptor field. Hey, don't forget about Bastila, guys. We still have to rescue her, too. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him, and the Sith will be invincible. <laughs> the gathered her no matter for me. She will never turn to the dark side. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. Let us hope it does not come to that. Well, if Bastil is on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. <laughs> yeah, it's never easy. So who are we gonna be bringing here? Here we crash. Can we talk to everybody? Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You... you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and... on the run, like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but, uh, I'm not holding my breath. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not gonna dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? Okay. Good job, mission. I didn't have a lot of lines to give to him. No, that's not really new. Statement. H. Statement. Yes, Master. Mew created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. You find it distressing? Statement. Of course, Master. You are the one who created me, meatbag or no. And while you may not be all you once were, I am grateful for my existence. Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. 
If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. <laughs> you changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. <laughs> That's not the original. First of all, it was a joke survey, a joker man. It's like, oh, this is a piss you off. Okay. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. <laughs> Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. This cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Oh my god. As you desire, Master. Signing off. <laughs> he drove him back. I bet he did. Yes, what's on your mind? I don't really know much about this place. Sorry. You got it. Well, that shit was funny. Got something on your mind, do you? <laughs> Hard to say what this planet is. Been lost for thousands of years, if not more. Smells like bad, bad karma, so watch your step. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Bad, bad men. Women, too, to be fair. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich, also. <laughs> but don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. <sighs> and just what gave you the impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? Oh, that's right. Damn the years of the young. I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when I mentioned that. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kun. Oh, 40 years ago now. Has it been that long? No, no, of course not. The Sith have come and gone for ages. They were not called the Sith many thousands of years ago, perhaps. But the dark side was always present, without a doubt. Oh, sure, occasionally the light side comes close to vanquishing the dark. But the dark always returns. The fact that Exar Kun was defeated didn't mean the Sith would never return, as they obviously have now. Everyone knows that. Yeah, there is no light. If there is no dark, there is no light. You need both to balance. Uh, Exar was a Jedi who was corrupted by ghosts of the old Sith, or so they say. He attempted to conquer the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. Better to say he was defeated, but essentially, yes. The victory did not come easily, however. That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined him and became Sith themselves. Why they did, I... I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against master. We fought ourselves. Yes, more than difficult. Next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? Pah, I dislike such memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... Uh, it is a sadness I thought I had put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. Oh, sorry about that, Jolie. My Cathar blood seethed. He will. Oh, God. If I could finish it, girl, I wish I could. Yeah, what do you want? This world is odd. It looks like a battlefield, but the environment here is lush and green. Whatever happened here was a long time ago. 
I have seen many strange worlds in my time, but this world is stranger still. I don't like this place. Something happened, or is happening here, and I don't like it. We should get out of here as soon as possible. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Your choice. Holy shit, even he's like, oh fuck, I don't like this place. We need to get out now. We need to hurry up and get the hell out of here. Okay, let's head out. Who are we taking with me? Go leave for certain. Should I have a... Should I have cough with me or take another Jedi with me? Uh... Okay, cough, you come with me, buddy. Ooh, I like the song. I forgot about this. Okay, good. I got him that. Okay, what she has? Where to get you that? Like it's going like ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, look, there's those things. It's probably like here. There's something funny over here. Hell, we can't get over that. I mean, I bet some of you saw it too when we were flying over. Come on guys, don't, no time to be blocking. Look, already attack me. You're already attacking. That's freaking hilarious. Thunder! How'd you like that? You asked for this. Get him. You asked for this. Oh, that's so. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, whoever wrote this game for like the the dialogue is so evil. Uh, no problem. La boda ni wen kis matoma wana kun best ching pa ma rulira top ching bang non kick. Why would he? Why would they have attacked you? La boda ni wen kis matoma. Wanna call best Ching Pa Ma Rulira? Top Ching Bang non kick. Tiska do suki kumba na bona na kachu. Ag to inkotu. Topa da bunk walia gandonago chu chu. Kuya mi just kuna chitanai. Ina kumba ma rulira rachikun. Slimo patona. Rundi hodonga chihonkabi. Jawana bota ayua ta honga cha kanki dora. Kachiku ita hodonga. Topa da bunk walia gando donago chu chu. Ya toka uluan kinkuna ba murira rachikun mucha shapampa uba batu kochi tong nong bong shang nung gang tong katok smak kuya mi just kuna chitanai ina kun ba marulira rachikun tiska du suki kuba na bona na kachu ab tu inkotu topa da bunk wal uba batu kochi tong nong bong shang nung gang La boda ni winkis matoma. Wanna kun best ching pa ma rulira. Tok ching bang non kick. Tok ninja mulira ra bes. Oh, 
know where to help them. Drop something, I just saw it. Why do I have stuff? Unless I've been seeing things. Alright, savage and everything. It's like a beautiful planet. Beautiful looking planet, but then you got these crazos eating people. Temper exterior. And the overlook of Let's see. I'm gonna go the other way right now. They're like, oh, we're just looking for something. I think we saw a ship land on the other side. The North Beach. Let's see. Oh, I got a music bag. I like it. It got ruined when we keep fighting these people. Wait a minute, you understood those creatures? Of course. You and Malak must have been here before. You you probably learned their language back when you were Revan. King Kun Jabesho, Gawana Bota, are you a dog or Kenki or Jiska to Suki? Don King Pano Kune, Jiska to Suki Kupa, Mona, and I got you. Don't hate Elder Swamaji, Gawana Bota, are you a dog? Yeah, they're gonna make sure, like, hey, we got these two big monsters here, you better not refuse. La bola de Winky, Swap Doma. Ga wanna bota, are you a dog or Kenki Dora? Sharky Kit, Ga wanna bota, are you a dog or Kenki Dora? Jiska to Suki Kuba Mora Night. Tong Hai Sax Wamaji. You may leave Ba at Inko Kun. Jiska to Suki Kuba Mora Night got you. Ku Yam Ni Jews. Ku Chita Night. Don't keep Bano Kunne. Ka Wana Bota. Are you a Dagwa Kenki Dora? Shark Jitin Wata Wama Mulira. Tong Hai Eldas Wamaji. ノーバムラ。ナボラにウィンキ、スマートオーマ。ガワナポタ、アイワタクワケンキドーラ。シャンジキンワタワマムリ、トンハイサクワマジ。ユマリッパアインコクン。チスカトスーキクパンボナナイ
ジーズかとスーキーコーパンボーナーないかちゅうトンヘンサクスワマジーユマリッパーアキンコクンジーズかとスーキーコーパンボーナーないかちゅうコーヤミジュースコーチッタナイトンヘンサクスワマジーユマ